So creating a second ball is fairly easy. We're going to take and just copy our ball startup code and change all the twos to one. So control H, two, or one, and then two, find, replace and find, replace and find, replace and find. Nope. Replace. And then we're going to copy the ball rect movement code. Paste it in. And we're going to go control H, find, replace and find, replace and find, replace and find. Oh, replace and find, find, uh, nope. find, replace, find, replace and find. Replace and find, replace and find, replace and find, replace and find, find, replace and find, find, replace and find, replace and find, replace and find. Now let's go fix the couple places where I'm looking at index two because that's going to cause terrible issues. There's one, index one, zero, one, 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 zero, zero. And then finally we have to blit the ball. I'm going to hit control D to duplicate that line. And I'm going to put ball two after ball one because I prefer it that way. And let's just change. I'm going to switch the speeds seven and two so they're moving opposite directions. If I execute, the two balls should work. They should independently bounce <laughs> off the walls. And now we should be ready to start moving on to the interball collisions. So for interball collisions, it's going to be very similar to the wall collision, except we are going to take and check the bounds of the ball. So if ball rect one dot right greater than ball rect two dot left, and then nest the next thing, if ball rect one dot left less than ball rect two dot right and then same for bottom so if ball dot uh, ball rect one dot top is greater than ball rect two dot bottom or, or no bottom is greater than ball rect two top and if ball rect one dot top less than ball rect two dot bottom, then we're gonna reverse all the speeds. So I'm gonna steal this piece of code for myself here and hit control D and change these to ones. And I'm going to copy this whole start pair of lines, paste them in, and make this two, 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 two. Now, if we execute the code, we should see a nice collision, except they're bouncing in place, which means we need to move one of the balls. And the way, the easiest way to do that is to just manually run a move command before we start the actual ball demo and set in maybe a one, 25, 25. So it's going to be out and away from the first ball. Now, if we watch this, they should collide at some point. All the collisions aren't going to be perfect. Because right now, we do not have a circular collision model. We only have a rectangular. So in the next video, we'll cover how to handle a rectangular collision model. That video will be using the code that we actually made in class rather than the code I just wrote now because I recorded these out of order. So don't mind the jump. This code should be very similar, though. <coughs>